We are back on the show to talk recruiting, and that is with our recruiting guy, as always, Richard Davenport from Ohio Sports, the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. It was a big week this past week. RD, as KJ Jefferson decided to commit to the Hogs, he is a dual threat QB. He's exactly what Chad Morris and company are looking for. And I understand his mom and grandma are really happy with the Hogs. Yeah, yeah, they are. I was able to talk to him. I was as, at his announcement on Friday, and uh, yeah, Mom was definitely sold on Arkansas after visiting uh, with KJ April the 6th and going down through the red-white game the, uh, the day after. Uh, you got to give Coach Crotick a lot of credit in the uh, way he recruited KJ and his mother and, and just uh, sold him on uh, basically their, their relationship with the coaching staff and the offense. KJ said that that visit on uh, April the 6th, 7th basically sewed up uh, Arkansas being uh, his uh, future school. But he, uh, you said it. He's everything you're looking for in a dual threat quarterback. 6'3", 210 pounds, great frame, great size, very good arm. Uh, obviously very good speed. He can help hurt you in the air and on, uh, on the ground. So uh, he's, he's everything. If you had a bio, the bio that KJ has is what you're looking for. All right, let's talk about Connor Nolan because this kid, I mean, he is just even keel. And he is such a first-class kid all the way. And this guy, a star in baseball and football. We all know he's coming to Arkansas for that. 6'3", 209. And, you know, let's talk about what he did in the 6A final because Greenwood easily wins that one. He had 12 strikeouts, only allowed two hits. He was the game's MVP. But what about Connor just, you know, really in general, you would say, just really stands out. Just sum him up. Well, the whole year he had more than 130 uh strikeouts for the year, which is obviously very impressive. Only gave up 22 hits and four earned runs for the entire season. So uh, it was a dominating uh, year, dominating performance yesterday. Great way to end his uh, college career, and he'll be on campus in about a week or so uh, for, for football, and uh, obviously he's going to try to play both sports. All right, 2019 safety Jalen Catalan, 5'10", 185. He's from Mansfield, Texas, has the Hogs in his top eight. He's a four-star, and I mean, when I say star, this dude is really a star, and I understand he's playing both sides of the ball. Yeah, quarterback and safety, and he's got, and I've told Jalen, I've told uh, several other people, and I've said it publicly, he's got probably one of the most impressive films I've ever seen for a high school safety. And uh, he recently narrowed down his uh, uh, schools to eight. Arkansas is one of them. He hasn't even visited Arkansas, so you have to give uh, Coach Morris, Coach Mark Smith, uh, who's recruiting him, a lot of credit. They've developed a really good relationship and has convinced him that uh, Arkansas should be in the running for him. So he does plan to visit Arkansas uh, fairly soon, so uh, I'd like to see what happens after that because uh, he hasn't even visited top eight. What happens after that, we'll see. All right. Let's jump up one class to the 2020 class. Talking about a wide receiver now, Zariah Beeson, 6'1", 185. He has lightning quick speed, 4'4", in the 40, and this guy has an Arkansas offer. Yeah, he has. he's closing in on about 20 offers, and uh, he, he told me Arkansas will probably be one of his top schools because he's, he's very close to the, uh, the Raleigh Williams family. He's visited the campus uh, about three times and, and uh, to attend games, so he understands what Arkansas is like in a lot of ways. Uh, he plans to visit Arkansas fairly soon, but like you said it, he, he's just an outstanding uh, uh, athlete and an outstanding receiver, and he's a guy that uh, I think Arkansas will uh, have a shot at because I know uh, uh, Raleigh's dad has uh, talked well to his, his dad about Arkansas. So it's always good when you have a connection like that. Let's close about 30 seconds on this. The coaches on the road this past week recruiting, but kind of lay out you know, how things are modified now in terms of what they can and cannot do in recruiting moving forward here, let's say for the next couple of weeks. Well, uh, the, the Friday will be their last day on the uh, on the road, and I, I'm sure that they're they're ready for that to spend some more time with their family. But uh, uh, when they go to schools, they can't have interaction with the kids, but uh, they they just go there to evaluate and uh, also basically send in a signal to the kids that you're you're a priority and we're very interested in you. And and, and the kids are very receptive after uh, those guys uh, visit because it, it says that uh, they're very interested in them. And then also you're looking at the 20. Uh, in 21 classes too, uh, so uh, uh, definitely a, a very busy uh, last month and so. But uh, before we go, I got to say uh, congratulations to McKenzie, my niece, and uh, Harmony Grove. They won the uh, 3A title in softball yesterday. Got to get that in there, RD. All right, he is top notch. Our recruiting insider, Richard Davenport from Whole Hog Sports, the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. More on Connor Noland after this.